And he said, I think I might have got a little help from above. And I, because I, I don't think I could do that. Mel Gibson has always been a figure that has inspired controversy, but now he is making waves for a different reason. He is speaking out against a covert agenda that has connections to some of the most powerful elites in Hollywood who are involved in trafficking situations. Gibson has been using his platform to expose a dark underbelly of corruption which includes figures such as Oprah Winfrey. Gibson's past has been full of scandals and redemptions, and he has been using his platform to expose this underbelly. During his time spent working with organizations that fight human trafficking, Gibson disclosed the ways in which wealthy and influential individuals, who are frequently protected by their status, either contribute to or cover up these heinous crimes. Gibson is now directing his attention towards Oprah, accusing her of being complicit in a system that takes advantage of those who are the most vulnerable. This revelation comes as a startling new development. In reality, what is going on behind the scenes? The complete revelation is given here. The facts that have not been told about Sound of Freedom. Mel Gibson has never been one to hold back, and now he is revealing a secret truth that has the potential to shake Hollywood to its very core. Where is the epicenter of this tempest? not anyone else but Oprah Winfrey herself. Over the course of several decades, Oprah has been lauded as a representation of both success and compassion, and her influence has been felt in a great number of people's lives. However, recent revelations indicate that the image she has cultivated may not be an accurate representation of the situation. There are significant concerns that have been raised regarding her connections to some of the most influential and controversial figures in Hollywood. However, that is not the conclusion of this tale. Not only because of its storyline, Gibson's most recent project, Sound of Freedom, is causing a stir in the industry. It is a pressing request to confront a reality that is not being discussed within the industry. In that case, what exactly is the point of Sound of Freedom? Jim Caviezel, the same actor who played Jesus in The Passion of the Christ, will star in this thriller that will be released in 2023 and will be directed and co-written by Alejandro Monteverde for it. The film is a low-budget production with a powerful message, and it follows a federal agent who is on a dogged mission to rescue children from the terrifying world of human trafficking in Colombia. The horrors that have occurred are not glossed over in this narrative. It plunges headfirst into the harsh realities of exploiting children, revealing the depths of a criminal underworld in which young lives are stolen, trafficked, and subjected to experiences that are beyond anyone's ability to fathom. The impact of the movie is heightened by its cast. Through the inclusion of talented individuals such as Bill Camp and Javier Godino in supporting roles, Sound of Freedom is able to put together a dynamic ensemble that infuses this narrative with a sense of urgency and emotion. In spite of the fact that it does not have the budget that Hollywood typically allocates to blockbuster films, this movie has had an undeniable impact. The story is not merely a suspenseful one. This is a wake-up call, urging viewers to confront the harsh reality of illegal activities involving minors and to show their support for those who are working to put an end to these activities. In spite of all the odds, Sound of Freedom has managed to make a name for itself by bringing in $250 million worldwide on a budget of only $14.5 million. This highlights the fact that a film does not necessarily require a large budget in order to have a significant impact. Audiences enthusiastically embraced Sound of Freedom, despite the fact that critics were divided on the album. However, despite the film's impressive earnings and the praise it received from fans, it had a difficult time reaching a wider audience. So then, what took place? There are those who might attribute it to the intense competition that Barbenheimer Mania presented, as well as the buzz that surrounded Barbie and Oppenheimer, which helped them dominate the box office. And you would think that a film that tackles the issue of human trafficking would be enough to attract attention on its own. Rather than that, however, it appeared to disappear from the spotlight. In terms of marketing, was it a lackluster effort? Alternatively, it's possible that audiences simply aren't interested in watching yet another action movie that follows the typical heroic journey of a muscular protagonist who vanquishes the villains. The sound is recognizable, isn't it? Still, it's possible that there's something more to this. The narrative is notoriously controlled by the entertainment industry, which is a well-known fact. 
The content that is marketed to the general public is largely determined by influential people in Hollywood and beyond. If a movie has the impression of being a threat to these elites, particularly if it is one that reveals the truth about human trafficking, then gaining the attention of the general public will be a difficult task. Just like that, Sound of Freedom is exactly that. This is a frank and unfiltered look at the harsh realities of human trafficking. Some individuals are of the opinion that powerful corporations played a role in minimizing the release of the film, thereby ensuring that it did not receive the attention that it deserved. The theory is beginning to take shape for those who have been following it, despite the fact that it may sound like an absurd proposition. An intense amount of controversy has surrounded Sound of Freedom ever since it was first made available to the public. It wasn't just dismissed by critics, though. They claimed that it promotes fringe conspiracy theories, particularly those that are associated with QAnon, and that it misrepresents the issue of exploitation. Also, they attacked its portrayal of exploitation. So what exactly is QAnon? In essence, it is a vast theory that is in circulation on the internet that proposes a covert group of influential individuals are the ones who are controlling the global situation. Due to the fact that Sound of Freedom comes into contact with this narrative, it has become a topic of discussion and skepticism among certain individuals. Within the shadows, there is a mysterious figure or possibly even a group that goes by the name Q. This individual or group asserts that they are working to expose powerful elites. According to the beliefs of some believers, Q is a high-ranking government insider, an individual, or a group that is leaking classified information in order to reveal the sinister plans of a deep state. The theory proposes that Q communicates with his followers through the use of cryptic messages and codes, leading them to believe that they are privy to some secret information. Although it may appear to be implausible, a significant number of individuals are fully committed to the idea that individuals such as Donald Trump are leading a resistance movement against the purported deep state. In their opinion, everything is accumulating in preparation for a momentous revelation that they refer to as the storm, in which the truth will be revealed. Unbelievable, right? Not a doubt. Nevertheless, this theory has garnered a sizable number of adherents. A more complicated situation is about to arise. This group, which goes by the name QAnon, is not merely a fringe theory. It has been linked to thoughts that are harmful and even incidents that involve violence. It is a conspiracy that has been blown out of proportion, according to the majority of experts and fact-checkers. As a result of the fact that Sound of Freedom also dealt with similar topics of covert corruption, the movie quickly became embroiled in QAnon-related controversy. Because of the severity of the criticism, Angel Studios, the company that distributed the movie, felt compelled to address it in public. During an interview, Neil Harmon, the chief executive officer of Angel, made it clear that Sound of Freedom is not connected to any political or conspiracy theories. He emphasized that the organization's sole focus is on the problem of human trafficking. Alejandro Monteverde, the director of Sound of Freedom, has also stepped in to clarify the film's intentions. He told Variety that the origins and purpose of the film have been largely misunderstood and that they have even been intentionally misrepresented. He was adamant that the project is not about any unethical intentions. It is about shedding light on a problem that is extremely detrimental. And despite the fact that the criticism appeared to be harsh, what was even more peculiar was the response of some of the most prominent platforms in Hollywood. It was decided that streaming giants such as Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon, which are known for picking up stories that are considered to be controversial, would not carry Sound of Freedom. The industry's reluctance was unusual for a film that had such a pressing social message. It was almost as if they had collectively decided to turn a blind eye to a sensitive topic that was right in front of them, as Disney acquired Fox in 2019. Those with knowledge of the situation were perplexed by the company's reluctance to release Sound of Freedom. Given Disney's reputation as a company that caters to children, the fact that it was reluctant to support a movie that dealt with the issue of child trafficking raised some eyebrows. Disney finally provided the filmmakers with the opportunity to repurchase the rights after what appeared to be a delay in the release of the film. Even in that case, things were not going swimmingly. After experiencing additional setbacks as a result of the pandemic and major studios continuing to reject it, 
The team was able to find a way out of their predicament in March of 2023 by contacting Angel Studios. A film about human trafficking was met with a great deal of opposition behind closed doors, which begged the question, why was Hollywood so eager to silence a film about it? Is it possible that this film happened to come into contact with the mysterious history of the entertainment industry? Are you the one who has witnessed disturbing allegations regarding exploitation, bringing to light the controversial associations that Oprah has? The scandal involving Jeffrey Epstein, which occurred in 2019, brought to light the dark waters that run beneath the surface of the elite. The wealthy financier Epstein was taken into custody for allegedly engaging in the trafficking of young girls and operating what some people referred to as a pyramid scheme in the Virgin Islands. Reportedly, his client list consisted of a who's who of influential people, ranging from high-ranking officials to celebrities in the entertainment industry. Conversations on social media continue to revolve around the Epstein list, which is a rumored compilation of prominent individuals who are suspected of being involved in trafficking. The death of Epstein in prison only served to stoke the fires of speculation, with many people speculating that his story was never told in its entirety. Epstein's case, however, was merely a representation of a larger, more troubling pattern. Only two years earlier, another scandal rocked the entertainment industry in Hollywood when Harvey Weinstein, a powerhouse producer, was accused of sexual misconduct by multiple women. The accounts they provided painted a bleak picture of the power dynamics that exist within the industry. Their stories revealed years of alleged harassment and abuse. Weinstein's fall from power sparked widespread outrage and brought to light the lengths that certain powerful figures will go to in order to maintain control over the people they victimize. These scandals, when taken as a whole, brought to light a particular aspect of the elite world that is anything but glamorous a viewpoint that some people believe Sound of Freedom is not afraid to reveal. What is even more concerning is the fact that individuals working in the industry are said to have been aware of Weinstein's actions, but chose to remain silent about them. As a result of her connections with influential but controversial figures such as Jeffrey Epstein and Harvey Weinstein, Oprah Winfrey, who was once regarded as the most celebrated queen of talk shows, is currently facing significant criticism. If you search for her name on social media, you will find a large number of videos and posts that accuse her of being associated with questionable individuals and of being involved in activities that are not entirely clear. It is implied that Oprah is a member of the elite circles that Mel Gibson has been vocal against, despite the fact that he has not publicly called her out on her behavior. In particular, her long-standing friendship with Weinstein has been the subject of scrutiny as it has been reported that she has encouraged other actors to work collaborating with him. It is perplexing to consider the possibility that Oprah, a figure who was once synonymous with compassion and integrity, may have knowingly supported a person like Weinstein. However, this does bring up the question of who the real Oprah is. There is a lot of speculation on the internet, and people are wondering whether she was always a part of a world that was hidden behind the glitzy facade of Hollywood or whether she got caught up in it in some way. Furthermore, it is not just regular people who are expressing these suspicions. A number of famous people are starting to have doubts about her. In a post that was published on Instagram in 2018, the British singer Seal made a direct accusation against Oprah, stating that she had ignored Weinstein's disturbing behavior towards young women for a number of years. When you've been a part of the problem for decades, but they all think you're the solution, Seal's post displayed a meme of Oprah and Weinstein together with the caption, when you've been part of the problem for decades. This pointed jab put Oprah in the hot seat, suggesting that her public persona may have masked a willingness to shield powerful friends, even if it meant ignoring serious issues. It was a jab that put Oprah in the hot seat. During the year 2017, when the allegations of abuse against Harvey Weinstein became widely publicized, Oprah took to Facebook to share her thoughts. She stated that she was processing the accounts of Harvey Weinstein's heinous behavior and that she was having difficulty finding the words to adequately convey the gravity of the situation. Unfortunately, not everyone was persuaded. In the year 2021, a video clip of Oprah interviewing Dolly Parton was rediscovered. In the clip, Oprah's inquisitive questions regarding Dolly's plastic surgery were perceived by some as being intrusive. 
It was at this time that actress Rose McGowan, a prominent voice in the Me Too movement, publicly called out Oprah. McGowan brought to everyone's attention the fact that Oprah has maintained a long-standing friendship with Weinstein, and he censured her for withdrawing from a documentary about the individuals who have accused Russell Simmons. McGowan did not hold back in a tweet that has since been deleted, in which he declared that Oprah was a fake because she was motivated by personal gain rather than a genuine commitment to just causes. The accusation that she made was that Oprah had abandoned Simmons' victims, and she stated that she had supported a harmful power structure in order to increase her own influence. Following that, there was yet another controversy that ensued between Oprah and John of God, a Brazilian spiritual healer. After highlighting him on her show in 2010, Oprah went on a trip to Brazil in 2012 to personally experience his purported healing abilities. She described the trip as a life-changing experience. For a considerable amount of time, John of God was lauded as a miracle worker, someone who appeared to possess supernatural abilities in order to heal those who were afflicted with illness. However, not long after Oprah was brought into the spotlight, a deluge of horrifying allegations surfaced. Women began coming forward, sharing their traumatic experiences and asserting that they had been abused by him under the guise of having their bodies healed. These stories painted a sinister picture, transforming John of God from a revered figure into someone who had reportedly exploited his power for decades, shielded by the allure of mysticism and his influential connections, leaving Oprah's endorsement under a heavy shadow of suspicion. Oprah's documentary and a recommendation from a friend were the sources from which one woman who was looking for healing learnt about John of God. She had the hope that he would be able to provide the assistance that she required. On the other hand, the true story of John of God took a sinister turn. A total of 118 years and six months in prison was handed down to him after he was arrested in 2018. He was placed under house arrest for a period of time before being sentenced to prison. A number of counts of assault, targeting vulnerable individuals, and seeking guidance led to his conviction after he was found guilty. Even before this sentencing, his record was not spotless because he had been involved in other legal struggles in the past. At the same time that he was sentenced to prison, the judge ordered him to pay damages to his victims, which could amount to a maximum of $20,500 for each individual who was harmed. The result elicits a variety of reactions, with many people believing that justice has been, at long last, completed. But in the case of Oprah, the fact that she has been associated with individuals such as Epstein, Weinstein, and now John of God has caused her fans to question her judgment and reputation. Although she has expressed her regret and publicly supported victims, Oprah's endorsements are currently being subjected to a great deal of scrutiny. There is no denying that her platform was instrumental in the rise to fame of John of God, lending credibility to his reputation and, unfortunately, increasing his influence. Not only does Oprah have a history of associations with influential but controversial people, but she also has associations with other people. Her South African school, which was once praised for providing young women with the opportunity to receive an education, has recently been the subject of unsettling news stories. Amidst the controversies that surround Mandela's legacy, the school, which was initially established as a beacon of opportunity in Mandela's homeland, has been subjected to shocking reports over the course of the years, adding yet another layer to the controversy. The Oprah Winfrey Leadership Academy for Girls was a high-profile initiative that was launched in South Africa in 2007 with the support of Nelson Mandela. The Academy's mission was to provide girls from disadvantaged backgrounds with access to a high-quality education. As a result of her investment of $46 million in the project, it has become an institution of the highest caliber with impressive facilities. Nevertheless, in spite of the fact that it got off to a fantastic start, the institution has been plagued by a string of unsettling incidents that have cast a shadow over its reputation. The first sign of trouble was the spread of rumors about students who had gone missing, which caused much concern. In 2009, seven students were reportedly suspended for bullying and intimidating their classmates. Some of the allegations involved pressure to engage in inappropriate relationships, the suspensions were reportedly issued in 2009, 
A girl of 15 years old is said to have attempted to manipulate the situation by telling other people to mislead the authorities, which is a disturbing development. In a further shocking event that occurred in 2011, a student was discovered to be in possession of a newborn baby. This discovery revealed that the student had secretly given birth on campus. Additionally, there were allegations that a member of the faculty had inappropriate relationships with students, which further complicated the difficulties that the school was experiencing. At the same time that Oprah made efforts to address these issues in public, controversies continued to arise, with reports of ongoing intimidation and violence among students at the academy. Because of this string of incidents, some people have come to the conclusion that such matters are handled in a covert manner in order to safeguard the reputation of the institution. This has contributed to the perception of secrecy surrounding the influential figures who are in the spotlight. These debates are a reflection of broader frustrations, particularly in situations such as Sound of Freedom, where many people question the reasons behind the actions of those in positions of authority when it comes to revealing or concealing the truth. It is common knowledge that power imbalances are deeply ingrained in the Hollywood industry, which has resulted in an atmosphere in which bullying, intimidation, and exploitation have become almost habitual. A system in which influential figures such as Harvey Weinstein, Roger Ailes, and Bill Cosby operated unchecked for years was brought to light by the Harvey Weinstein scandal, which caused the curtain to be pulled back on this matter. Their silence, which discouraged anyone from speaking up, gave the impression that they were untouchable and protected them from criticism. In large part, the close relationships that exist between influential players are responsible for the success of this culture. The elite of Hollywood are frequently intertwined with political and business heavyweights, forming a protective circle that shields them from accountability. This circle is considered to be a protective circle. These non-disclosure agreements, also known as NDAs, are an essential instrument for preserving this silence. As a result of the fact that non-disclosure agreements, NDAs, become an unavoidable component of any settlement, many survivors of exploitation and abuse in the industry are legally obligated to refrain from discussing their experiences. Not only do these agreements serve to protect the individuals involved, but they also serve to protect the larger network that works to support them. The fact that Oprah has connections to various influential people such as Harvey Weinstein demonstrates how intertwined and protective these relationships can occasionally be. Because of the culture of intimidation, challenging the status quo could result in severe consequences. As a result, there are very few people who are willing to challenge such formidable barriers. In 2017, the world received a wake-up call regarding the long-standing problems of harassment and abuse that exist within the entertainment industry. It was on October 15th that Alyssa Milano made a call on Twitter for women to post the hashtag MeToo if they had experienced harassment or assault. This was the spark that caused the MeToo movement to explode onto the scene. The purpose of the idea was to demonstrate the sheer magnitude of the issue and it struck a chord right away. In a short amount of time, prominent celebrities such as Gwyneth Paltrow, Ashley Judd, Jennifer Lawrence, and Uma Thurman shared their personal experiences, thereby bringing the topic of abuse into the public eye. The impact of the movement was enormous, and as a result, prominent individuals were forced to face the consequences of their actions. Rose McGowan, who came forward with allegations that Harvey Weinstein assaulted her in 1997, was one of the survivors who spoke out the most. Unbelievably, rather than rallying around her, McGowan's manager negotiated a settlement of $100,000 and later joined Miramax, which is owned by Weinstein. Despite the fact that McGowan was not legally required to give her opinion, she experienced the consequences in her professional life it became more difficult for her to land mainstream roles as a result of the fallout with Miramax, which ultimately led her to pursue independent filmmaking before she eventually left Hollywood altogether. Another actress who felt empowered to share her story as a result of the Me Too movement is Reese Witherspoon. During the Women in Hollywood event hosted by Elle, she disclosed a situation that was extremely distressing. As a young girl, she was the victim of an assault committed by a film director. The response from her agents and producers was even more upsetting because they implied that she would have to maintain her silence if she wanted to maintain her career. They framed silence as a part of her job, 
Within the same vein, Witherspoon mentioned that this was not an isolated occurrence. According to her, she had been subjected to a number of instances of harassment and assault, which is a reality that is all too common for many people working in the industry. In addition, Selma Blair, who is best known for her role in the film Cruel Intentions, revealed that she had her own terrifying experience with director James Toback. During a meeting that took place in his hotel room, she detailed how Toback attempted to force her into developing an intimate relationship by pressuring her to deliver a monologue without wearing any clothing. According to the allegations, he resorted to threats when she refused, which forced her to watch behavior that was unsettling. Toback allegedly threatened to harm Blair if she spoke out, claiming that he had connections that were capable of kidnapping her. As a result, Blair experienced such a profound level of emotional distress that she confided in her boyfriend alone. As more women began to come forward with allegations that were comparable to those that Blair had made against Toback, Blair finally felt that she was able to break her silence and bring attention to a history of abuse that was extremely uncomfortable. The darker side of the entertainment industry dates back decades, with stories of abuse and exploitation frequently being concealed behind the glitz and glamour of the industry. It is not a recent discovery that this is the case. The troubling history of misconduct in Hollywood includes the exploitation of child actors, which frequently occurs at the hands of powerful figures, directors, producers, and executives who appear to be on an untouchable level. A significant number of former child actors have related accounts of mistreatment that shed light on the reality that exists behind the scenes. What is even more disheartening is the fact that some parents, motivated by their desire to achieve success, chose to ignore the suffering of their children in exchange for the opportunity to achieve fame and financial success. Although there were some parents who may have been unaware of what was taking place, there were also parents who were more than willing to ignore the warning signs if it meant that their child would be able to advance in their career. This culture has resulted in an atmosphere in which youth and beauty are prioritized, which has also resulted in the creation of a system that allows for abuse. Among the many people who were subjected to inappropriate treatment, Judy Garland, Corey Haim, Shirley Temple, and Todd Bridges are just a few examples. The depth of the issues that are deeply rooted within the industry is brought to light by their experiences, which highlights the necessity of providing more protections for young actors. Due to the fact that many victims choose to remain silent out of fear or shame, the extent of exploitation that occurs in the entertainment industry may be more widespread than it appears. In recent times, federal agents conducted searches at properties in Los Angeles that belonged to Puff Daddy, as well as Miami in the midst of allegations concerning abuse and exploitation. According to the lawsuits, Combs is accused of hosting inappropriate gatherings that included individuals under the age of 18 and substances. Additionally, it is alleged that some executives from record labels ignored these actions in exchange for access to celebrities. Despite the fact that Combs has denied the allegations, his recent behavior has prompted questions, particularly in light of some of the allegations that have been made in the past, such as rumors concerning Tupac's case and incidents involving his ex-girlfriend, Cassie Ventura. In light of these controversies, it appears that he may have an image that is not consistent with the clean persona that he portrays. In the meantime, prominent figures such as Mel Gibson are speaking out about the problems that Hollywood faces and are supporting initiatives such as Sound of Freedom, which seeks to bring attention to the issue of human trafficking. Despite the fact that Gibson's previous controversies are well known, his stance against the darker side of Hollywood draws attention to what some people believe to be genuine problems that have not been addressed within the industry. Disturbing patterns in Hollywood continue to surface, prompting calls for accountability an old interview with Mel Gibson resurfaced last year, coinciding with the turbulent release of Sound of Freedom. In the interview, Gibson admitted that early suspicions about Hollywood's corruption turned out to be true. He likened the industry to a cockroach, resilient and often ruthless. Gibson's career has been a mix of highs, like winning two Oscars and significant controversies, including a damaging anti-Semitic rant in 2006. Despite these setbacks, he has recently focused on raising awareness about human trafficking. He reportedly supported Tim Ballard's Operation Underground Railroad, or 
by providing intelligence that helped disrupt a transnational trafficking network during the Ukraine conflict, challenging Hollywood's darker side. While his past remains controversial, his efforts to combat trafficking highlight a shift toward addressing significant global issues. Within the context of the ongoing fight against vice all over the world, the intersection of power, money, and exploitation continues to be a significant target of concern.